Good morning, my sunshine. Hope that you are enjoying your time. I miss you so much. Today we are going to read again the story Farmer in the Hat from Reading Street Book Unit 2. Can you please bring the books and open the page on the story and write the day for today, Monday and the date, 30 of March 2020. First, let's make refresh now and read the story again. The Farmer in the Hat by Pat Cummings Genre Realistic fiction as characters that act like real people A community Egg Said Dave Beth got the hat I could be the farmer Old MacDonald in this play, said Beth But I am the farmer, Beth, said Dave you can be a pig, said Beth. A pig? Dave made an odd face. Grace went up on stage. Let us make paper masks of faces, she said. Ducks, hens, a pig, a horse. I have the hat, said Max. Beth is not the farmer. I will take that hat, Max. Dave said. Stop it, Max and Dave, said Grace. Let us make masks. On his page, Max made a duck mask with tape. Beth made hens. Dave made a pig mask on his page. That is an odd pig, Grace said. It takes ages to make this horse mask, Meg, said Jake. I can make this mask fast, Jake, said Meg. Meg made a fat gerbil mask. Place that gerbil in a paper cage. Jake gave a grin. Take your places up on stage, said Grace. Grunt, Dave had on his pig mask. Squeak, said Meg. Whack. Max had on his duck mask. Cluck! Beth had on her hen mask. Look at that cat, said Grace. That is an odd farmer. Now, my kids, after finish reading this story, uh, we are going to answer the following questions together. First of all, why did the children need paper mask? Why do you think? To be on stage, to play dress up, to be animals in a play. Take your time to answer, to find the right answer. I'm sure all of you will know the right answer. Yes, I think you choose this one. Amazing, excellent. This is the right answer because they want to be animals in a play. Okay, now, why does Grace say the pig mask is odd? Why do you think? Now, if you look back to the pictures and the story, you will find out there's something on the pig. What do you think? It has a pig on it. It has a hat on it. It has a hen on it. Take your time. I think you find out the right again answer. This one. It has a hat on it. If you look at the picture, you'll find that there's a hat on the pig. Now move to next page. At the end of the story, why did Max Quack. Why did Max quack? Quack is for what? Let's see. Max had on a duck mask. Max could not talk on stage. Max made a hat. So, take your time. What do you think? Perfect. 
Max had on a dark mask. Amazing. Now, regarding to the story. In our story, there are six characters. You know, in each story, we find out the main character. So here, I want you to write only three names from the story. Uh, you would like to choose first which name. Mm, can you raise your voice to write the name? I think that you choose first Beth. What do you think? Beth. Okay, now character number two is for going for whom, whom, whom? For Dave? Okay. For Dave. Now, third character. We will write for Max. Perfect. Now let's move together to next page. This one. Write the name of animals mask, which related to each name. Now uh, look at this page here and you can find out the name for the story but the name for the animals which related to each character from this okay starting with Beth Beth used which character which uh, mask uh, mm, 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 tick tock tick tock take your time she used the mask for uh, him. Amazing. Now let's move to Dave. Look at the pictures here in the book. Dave's mask is for the one who is old. Yes, perfect. It's for pig. Now let's go to Grace. Looks at Grace's mask. Uh, she used mask for uh, again hen. Perfect. Now Max. What was the mask for Max? The one who made quack 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 is for perfect for the. Okay, my angels. Now. After finishing uh, doing uh, questions for the story, I want you to open on the same page, page number, uh, same book, page number 77. We are going to talk about the vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary, when we want to describe when things happen, we use time order. To be more clear, I want to enjoy watching this video and See you next uh, after the video.
Now, after watching this video, we are going to talk here about time order words. What does that mean? Here we are going to put pictures in sequence. Number one, two, and three. It's starting with first, next, and last. Uh, to be more clear, we will start to doing together now a snowman. And at the beginning, we will make first, and then next, and last. First, make a big snowball. Okay, let's start with big snowball. I want to see, I want to see your uh, snowman and make one and send it to me, please. This is first. Now we fir finish. First, we will do next, make a medium snowball. Okay, now start doing a medium snowball. Okay. Now, last, make a small snowball. We will do here, small snowball. Okay, now we finish three steps. This one, one, two, and three. First, next, and last. But let me finish doing final touch for the snowman. Remember, we make one activity at the school, snowman. We use steps to do the snowman. Okay, now we're done. We will make first, next, and last. We use here three steps. Okay, we will move to the next page and you will like it so much, this one. Here, write one, two, three, under the pictures that comes first, next, and last. Now it's night and you want to go to sleep. What is the steps that you are going to do before you go to bed? What you are going to do first? Brushing teeth or reading books, sleeping on the on bed. So we we'll start with number one, with first. Can you tell me first what you will do? Of course, you are going to brush your teeth. Brushing teeth. Okay. What will be next? Next step. What is the next step? Remember when I keep telling you to take your reading book and read stories on bedtime with your lovely mummies? Yes, this is, will be the next step. Number two. Now, step number three. It will be this one. Sleeping on bed. After you finish reading story with your mommy, you will go in deep sleep. So, these are the three steps for first, next, and last. Move to the last page now. After you sleep, uh, woke up at morning, when you woke up at morning, Again, we will do here three steps, okay? One, two, and three. <sighs> Which picture will, will start with first? First picture, it will be, yes, perfect. I know that you answer right. I hope I can hear your voice. This is picture number one. Okay, now, what do you think will be picture number two? Eating breakfast or going to school. Tick tack, tick tack, take your time. Perfect. This is the next. It's first, woke up. Next, eating breakfast. Last, going to school. Hope that you enjoyed our lesson for today. And I miss you so much. And thanks for watching. See you soon.